name is Jake, and today I'm going to explain to you what your new PJ is. So, it's taken place on December 22nd in Zimbabwe, and it was all started when Joshua Mung, Sahona Como, and Robert Nuffy both wanted to be Roman, but obviously that can't happen. So, they decided to start a war, and it's celebrated because when they signed the peace treaty, it was a big relief because over 20,000 were killed, and that's a big number for that many deaths and murders. Here's a city in Zimbabwe. And here's Drew. Thank you, Jake. Now here's a village in Zimbabwe. And my interviewer, Henry Fringer. Henry? So, Drew, how did this holiday begin? At first, it originated from the signing of Robert Mugabe, the president of Zimbabwe, and Joshua Nkomo, the vice president, who both signed the Unity Accord in 1987. The Unity Accord is a treaty that causes peace to two parties of Zimbabwe. So Drew, is there someone who created with the starting of the holiday or festival? As said before, Robert Mugabe and Joshua Nakomo because they both signed the accord. Why, has, why was this holiday started? It was started because the two parties, Zanu and Zapu, fought numerous times in the 1980s. Over 20,000 were killed, as Jake has said before. The Zimbabwean government put an end to the fighting by creating the Unity Accord. How has this holiday festival changed over time? Soccer games, political speeches, and more have been added. What is the earliest record of this holiday being celebrated? 1987. And now here's Henry and Jake. They use Mabrio to go to prevent droughts and floods. So, also, are there any special foods that we do on this holiday? Yes, Zetas, peanut butter stew, and Matt Pingo. So, are there any gifts involved for more Christmas? Um, no, because it's a political holiday. Very interesting. I think it's on for Ella Davis. Yes, it will. Fun facts about Zimbabwe. Ella Davis. Here's some fun, fun facts. And that's a fun entrance. Fun, fun, fun. Now, now let's some fun facts about Zimbabwe, um, the country, and some of uh, about the holiday, Unity Day. First fun fact. The first people of the country of no, Zimbabwe that entered okay, were the Bantu-speaking minority of farmers that settled in the region. Really oh. 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 Now, back in the two. Zimbabwe has a total of eight medals in the Olympics Games, from hockey and swimming. Back in the number three. Now, number three. 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 It is illegal in Zimbabwe for the police to impound oh, mm, a car. Back number four. Unity Day was all, um, is when all the parties come together and is government sponsored. Back number five. Zimbabwe was once a very rich country. Back number six. All of, all of, the, all of the most war in Zimbabwe was called the, the post. Post job. Fact number seven. On April, on April 18, 1980, Zimbabwe became, became ind independent from the from the United Kingdom, um, off, aka the UK. Fact number eight. Ma manufacturing, mining, and farming constitute the back, the back of the bone of Zimbabwe's economy. Fact number nine. In Zimbabwe, there has been a belief of, of mermaids, and they have also believed, like and some people have believed that these are the reasons for kidnapping, like torturing, and sometimes, um, murders. Yeah. Fact number 10, last one. Zimbabwe is mostly called ever so kind of to, of to, to place. That's all for now. Bye! Bye, Bye everyone. <laughs>